That's a lot. Oh my gosh. These backflips in slow motion compared to a human backflip, they look odd. It's getting wheeled off. I'm gonna be unemployed soon. Okay, we're gonna do it. I am gonna react to the new Boston Dynamic uh, Atlas the robot parkour people that are gonna take my job. If you don't know me by now, I am Omar Zaki. I am a professional parkour athlete, stuntman, and actor here in Hollywood. Let's do it. <sighs> okay. They're doing the Ninja Warrior quad steps. Like, already this, this is so crazy. The fact that he's going on slants right now. <sighs> That's... That's a lot already. Like, it looks so simple, but this is a machine that they have built, that they have trained to do parkour, to analyze the environment around them, to be able to lean from side to side. There are children that can't run on slants like that, and now we have a robot that can. Up the stairs. I like the jump. This is... To me, what, what the strangest thing is that it's a robot, obviously. It doesn't move like a human. So as it's moving, it looks fake. It doesn't look like a real thing that exists. But that's just because we, or I, we're used to things that move like a human that run on two legs and do this. We're used to them having the same center of gravity and rotating around the same planes and whatnot. But this thing is, it's totally different. So it moves completely differently. If I had to guess, it looks like a bunch of the weight is probably in the back where that the big backpack is. So it's it's got a lot of weight up there. So it's naturally gonna move very differently from a human. So it's just, it's just so strange to watch. More Tic Tacs running on the edges. It's so impressive. And this one does a freaking speed vault. And these box, okay, oh, that one almost went down. Did you see that? And then they, they sync it up and they both do these, these backflips together. Two, okay, two backflips, excuse me. And again, if you watch these backflips in slow motion, like compared to a human backflip, they look odd. Again, because their center of gravity is probably really, really high. So rather than rotating around their hips, they're rotating like around their back. And it looks really strange. I mean, this is incredible. This is, I don't know what else to say other than it's incredible. This is literally the future. Think about the possibilities of where this is gonna go. This can eventually lead to, I mean, I'm not saying if it's for good or for worse, but this could lead to robots in police intervention. It could lead to robots serving people in restaurants, every type of service industry. It's honestly, the more you think about it, it is kind of terrifying, but it's just gonna force humans to have to level up to make sure that we don't get replaced by the robots. Now let's look at some of their fails. That's what I'm really here for. This is, this is incredible. I like that. <laughs> it just goes down. Hey, you know what? Nobody's perfect. Not even a... Oh my God. <laughs> that one laid on his head. Oh my God, it's getting wheeled off. This one totally wiped out. <laughs> all right, we've all been there. We've all been there. I actually went to a hospital because I did a, I attempted a backflip and landed on my head. So that's something that me and the robot have in common. I don't know what that is. I think this was one of the first videos that came out. Yeah, the way it jumps up these stairs is, again, it's just, it looks odd. Look at that, this technique is great. This, this robot technique, it's crazy. Yep, it's running. Think about how fast a robot will be able to run in like 10 to 20 years. When they get it all right, these robots will be able to run. I mean, I have no idea. 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. Like they'll be able to keep up with cheetahs because they're powered by an engine rather than muscle and bones. 
There's that backflip again. And stuck the landing too. Do you see that landing? That was a great landing. I wanna see that again. You could see that in a gymnastics competition and stick the landing and oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. totally sticks it. And then moving weights just to show that we still have a little bit of control over these machines. Forward. That handstand, like, are we gonna talk about how incredible that is? The, uh... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. This is crazy. The type of finite control that you need to do a handstand. And this metal thing, this big metal hunk. I mean, I know it's all math and numbers and it's just hitting a specific position, but to watch that is crazy. I, I think the hand, I wonder what was, more, what was more difficult, the handstand or the backflip? In Boston Dynamics, if you guys are watching, uh, what was more complicated, the handstand or the backflip? Let me know. The jumps and the somersaults and the jump split kick. It's just so strange to watch. It's so weird, it just doesn't move. I know I've said that a million times, but it doesn't get any less weird to watch this giant metal robot move like a human, but not completely like a human. <sighs> Folks, we're in the future now. I don't know if you know, but we are currently in the future. I'm gonna be unemployed soon, not actually. Okay, so that's that. That's me reacting to the Boston Dynamics Parkour Atlas robot gonna take my job video. Uh, if these guys, I don't, I don't even wanna know what they're gonna do next. It's going to be crazy. It's gonna be revolutionizing. They are doing incredible work. Um, this is the future. Um, if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and then hit the bell icon if you want to get notified of future videos so you get to watch me react to more robots that are probably going to take my jobs in 10 to 20 years. But uh, until then, I will see you guys later. Peace.